All right, lick number 13. The first example comes in the tune, People Will Talk. And it goes something like this, key of G. All right, here we go again. All right, so what that is, it's fourth bend to fifth. Then you hit, then while you're holding the bend, you hit two of them. You can add a little vibrato. Now you release the bend, but you don't pick it. And you get the flat five. And then you release the bend some more. And you get the fourth. And that one you do pick. So it sounds like this. See that? So I'm not picking the chromatic note, the flat five. Uh, when I'm bending, I pick two of those fifths, release a little bit, get the flat five, and then release all the way to the fourth and pick it. So you get this effect. It's chromatically. Then you follow up flat, uh, minor third, fourth, fifth, flat seven, two roots, and then major second, hammering onto the minor third. And the and the major second to the minor third, hammer on. The volume kind of starts to tail off a little. It's a little gentler. You can even maybe hammer both of them so you don't get as much volume. Hold on. You know, it's all on how you want to do it, but it's interesting because you're, you're ending on that major second and then hammer in the minor third Jimmy doesn't play that major second much you know now and then and when he does it, it makes a big impact because your ear is used to hearing this that really like uh Throw something different in there. So, it's a good one to know. And again, the upward motion. Now, we're not moving up the neck on this one, but we are moving up in terms of notes, right? And uh, come to think of it, you know, when I looked and transcribed a lot of these examples, the funny thing is, there's not many upward motion, but there's a ton of stuff that goes down, you know? <laughs> lots of things, lots of things tend to, a lot of downward motion. I don't know how else to say it, you know? And I do remember some interview or somewhere I heard or read that Charlie Parker, even, uh, he was talking about, you know, you dig in, you're either in, there's only three things, really, when it comes down to it. You're digging in in one spot. You're digging in or you're going up. Or you're coming down. You know, and it's funny. You simplify it like that, there's only really three basic ideas, right? Staying in one spot, going up or going down. And, you know, yet, isn't this stuff so complicated? I guess it doesn't have to be, right? But um, I started playing in F. I just, just kind of changed the keys there. But um, 
that's that's the interesting thing about it. And when it comes to the amount of times he does some sort of a go, going up idea, is is a few few examples I'm going to show you really. But there's a ton of stuff going down. But uh, I guess that's just the natural order of things. I don't know why. Just I guess that's how we feel it. You know, we hear it. But all right, so that's the first example, and we'll get uh, to the next one.